Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is a part two of your AWS automation with Python Boto3 and Lambda function series. Okay, so this is all about Boto3. What is Boto3? How to install Boto3 and and how to install it on Windows and your Linux servers. Okay, so let me go to my documentation. So if you see part two, it is all about introduction to Boto3. Okay, so now if you ask me what is Boto3, right? So Boto3 is nothing but a Python library for AWS. Simple, straightforward answer. So we have come across many libraries for uh, Python, right? So we have pandas, we have many things for different different use cases. We have different things for web development. We have Flask, we have Django. Those are the different libraries or the modules that we have to work on those particular areas, right? In the same way, if you want to work on AWS related things, you have to have something called as Boto3. Okay, it is an SDK software development kit, or you can call it as a library, or you can also call it as a module or an API, right? So it is a SDK for your AWS. Okay. So what it will do? What what is the use of this? Right. Basically, Boto3 allows you to directly create, update, and delete AWS services or the resources from Python scripts without even logging into the management console through browser. You don't require browser here, right? So till now, what we were doing, we were going to management console, we were creating EC2 instance, we were creating uh, S3 buckets, all those things we were doing in the AWS management console via browser. We were logging into our AWS account, we were doing it manually. But using Boto3, you don't have to log into your management console right so that is the beauty of your boto3 okay and this boto3 is built on top of your parent module called as boto core right so you don't have to worry about the, what is boto core and all but just know that it is built on top of your core module or a parent module called boto core okay so now how to install boto3 on how to work on boto3 right as i already told Boto3 is a Python SDK. So if you want to work with Boto3, you have you will have to install Python, right? So installing Python is necessary. It depends on your uh, actual version of Python. If you are using Python 2.x, you can directly install by running this command pip install Boto3, right? If you are running Python 3x, you just have to run Python pip 3 install Boto3. Okay, it is really straightforward, right? So installing uh, Python and Boto3 on Windows is very easy. So I'm not going to show how to install it on Windows because it is really easy, right? So if you just go to uh, python.org, right? So you can get a uh, go to downloads. And if you, you know, look for uh, uh, what are the specific operating system, if you're downloading for Windows, you can just click on Windows select whatever the type of uh, you know which type which particular version you want to download you can just directly download it di here in the python.org website right so you have different versions available you can install it so after installing uh, python you can just run so pip install boto3 or pip3 install boto3 that is all right so it is really simple in windows but whereas if you want to install the same thing in Linux, it takes some time. Basically, if we will not be using Linux in everyday life, right? So that will be difficult for us. So I will make sure to, you know, teach you how to install Python and Boto3 on your Linux machine. Okay. But Windows, it is really easy. Go to python.arg, download the requirements, download the particular version of Python that you need and you know how to set the very path right so it is really simple to set a path because by if you directly after installing if you go and directly run python 3 version you will not get the you know recommended or the you, you will not get the response back from your command prompt but if you want to get the response what you have to do is you need to set the path for it where do you set the path go to environment variables copy where you have downloaded the python paste that path that is all you have to do right so after that you can just run this pip 
three install both of them, right? So it is really straightforward. No, nothing to worry here, right? So, but installing Python on both of three, we will see now. Okay. So these are the commands that we have, and we will uh, go through the step by step process on how to install Python and both of three on your Linux machine. Okay. All right. So now let us install Python 3.7 on our Linux machine. Okay. I do not have a physical Linux machine. So what I've done is I have created an EC2 instance, uh, which is uh, having, uh, you know, Amazon Linux 2 or CentOS based uh, operating system. So this is my uh, Linux machine right now. So here let us try and see if we have Python installed already. Okay, so to do that, I'll just type in. Okay, so let me just type in Python 3 hyphen hyphen version. Okay, now if you see, we don't have Python installed. Okay, so first things first, let us go ahead and install it. Okay, so here is the document that I have prepared. So uh, I will make sure to add this all commands in our document. Right, so I will add all these things in the document also. You can find it there. Okay, so the first thing is to run this command to install the uh, dependencies. Okay, so let me copy that and I'll just paste it here. Okay, it will take some time. So you, uh, it is saying you need to be a root to perform this. Okay, so I'll be a root user. sudo su hyphen. Okay, now I'm a root user. Let me clear the screen now and let me paste this one now. Okay, if you see this is running and uh, it will take some time to install it. Okay, so we need to next uh, run this command. We'll need to get inside this slash user slash source. So I'll just copy this one and I'll paste it here again. Okay, so let's wait until this is completed. Let me hit Y and hit enter again. All right, now if you see it is done. So let me run the next command that is to get inside that folder. Okay, I'm inside that folder right now. So I need to get my Python file, right? So Python, um, I need to get it from here, python.org. And this is Python 3.7.4. I'm getting that as a, a zip file. And later on, I need to unzip that basically tar. So I need to tar that and I need to keep it okay so let me clear the screen first okay so let me hit Control l and i'll paste this one so this is going to get our python okay so if this is the tar file that we have got so we need to extract it okay so let me copy this one and extract it let me hit enter okay so that has extracted it so let me get inside python 3.7.4 okay so let me paste that and let me get inside there later on I need to run this to configure and enable the optimizations. Okay, let me copy that and paste it here quickly. So this particular command will take some time to configure it because this is Python and it is a huge application. It requires some time to, you know, uh, cop, co you know, optimize it as and when the Linux operating system requires, right? So it will take some time to install. All right, now that has been installed. The next command that we need to run is this one. I'll just copy that and I'll paste it here. Okay, so let me hit enter and this is going to actually install our Python. Okay, so let's wait till that completes. Okay.
all right now if you see we have a message here successfully installed pip 19.0.3 and this is the setup the installation is completed right now okay let's see what is the next command that we need to run okay so the next command is to get inside this particular folder or path that is where ex exactly we have downloaded it right so let me get inside there okay so let me clear the screen for you the next command that we need to run is to check the python version okay so let me copy that and i'll paste it here okay so python 3.7 and i'm just uh, giving the version hyphen hyphen version so let's wait for it okay so now if you see we have a got we have a response here we have python 3.7.4 so basically that is what we have installed right so now let me check the pip version okay so let me copy this so this is the command to check the pip version so if you see here this is the pip version that we have okay but this is not working as expected right so uh, by default it will not work so we need to pass this one right so that is not a usual scenario let us create a soft link for that and uh, do it okay for that let me get my uh, uh, you know current working directory so this is my directory so to create soft link this is the command that i'm using so let me copy this one i'll just copy and i'll paste it here okay so let me hit enter next i'll just say python version so python hyphen hyphen version i should get a response the same way that we got it here right so this is the response that we got and we are good now so let me also do the same thing let me also create the soft link for our pip also okay so that has been created and let's check the pip version now okay so let me type in pip3 hyphen hyphen version so if you see we are getting a response now okay now if you have already having the python installed on your machine so if you want uh, to go with any particular version if you go with that else you can directly skip till here so where we are just going to import the python boto3 okay so this is the actual step let me copy this one pip3 install boto3 so that is what we need to do let me hit enter okay so this is going to download the pip3 uh, along with the boto3 sorry pip3 is going to install your boto3 okay so if you see successfully installed boto3 so basically this is the uh, sdk for aws if, if you want to interact with aws we need a software development kit or an api right so that is what this uh, boto3 is so that is what we have downloaded it right now okay so this is how you download python3 dot 7.4 and your boto 3 on your linux machines okay so i hope you like this one so depending on what operating system you are using go ahead and install the particular uh, you know python version okay so that's it for this videos if you're liking the content uh, that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you